firstly i would like to thank my lord jesus christ for giving me this beautiful opportunity and also i would like to thank all of you those who are watching this videos and uh, i would like to thank those who have liked the previous videos and share the pre previous videos with their family relatives and friends and also i would like to thank them for uh, supporting our ministry by subscribing to our channel and also i would like to encourage those who are watching uh, this video for the first time uh, like this video and share this video with your family relatives and friends and also subscribe to this channel by that you will support our ministry who is jesus christ the, in the today's situation, we must ask the question who Jesus Christ really is. To know who Jesus Christ really is, we must not look into the other sources where uh, uh, the other sources tell that Jesus Christ is just a merely man. So we should not go into those sources. You know, to know who Jesus Christ really is, there is only one book which explains who Jesus Christ really is with the most accurate way and which has the truth about the Jesus Christ which has the absolute truth about the Jesus Christ and that book is Bible so we must look into the Bible what the Bible says about the Lord Jesus Christ who the Lord Jesus Christ is so let us see the first one Jesus Christ is God Jesus Christ is having all the attributes and Jesus Christ is having the very nature of what God has the very nature to be a God. So the God of the Bible, the attributes, whatever he has, all the attributes Jesus Christ is having. So he is God. Jesus Christ is from all the eternity, from past the eternity and he will be in the eternity. So he is eternal God. Jesus Christ is not a created being. Jesus Christ is not just a man. When he was on earth, he was fully man and he was fully God. So that is the teaching we get from the Bible and that we see clearly in the Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1. And also we see Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 where we see it very clearly. Let us see the second one. Jesus Christ incarnated. Incarnated means God becoming man. So Jesus Christ was there from all the eternity, from past the eternity. He took the very nature of a human. So he came to the earth as a human. So when he came to the earth as a human, that we call as incarnation. So Jesus Christ incarnated. He incarnated as a human being, but he was completely sinless. So he was born completely sinless and he was grown up completely sinless there was no sin in the Lord Jesus Christ so that is very clear when he incarnated when he was born when he was grown up and till Jesus Christ died till then Jesus Christ was fully human and fully God he was sinless being he was sinless on the earth that we see in gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 35 first Peter 2 22 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21, Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, 1 John chapter 3 verse 5. Let us see the third one. Jesus Christ came to save the sinner. When Jesus Christ, God from all the eternity incarnated, he came to earth. Why? Because he came to save the sinner. He came to save the sinner from what? From hell. So that we see very clearly in the gospel of Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 and uh, gospel of luke chapter 19 verse 10 gospel of john chapter 12 verse 46 to 48 we see very clearly that jesus christ came to save the sinners let us see the fourth one jesus christ came to forgive the sins of the people he came to forgive the sins of the people the people who believe him as his lord and he died and rose on the third day according to Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 so when we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ he is the God who forgives our sin and saves us from the perishing from the eternal fire from the eternal punishment so that we see in gospel of John chapter 3 verse 15 and uh, Romans chapter 10 verse 9 and 10 let us see the fifth one. Jesus Christ died on the cross in the place of sinners. 
sinners had to get the punishment what Jesus Christ has taken and how he died on the cross means Jesus Christ died on the cross the place where sinners must die he took the punishment of the sinners on him and he died he took the wrath of god on himself and he saved the people who believe in him so the sinners sinners who are the sinners the human beings the people of the earth everybody is a sinner now and all the sinners must have the punishment must have the wrath of god so this we see very clearly in the bible first peter chapter 2 verse 24 Second Corinthians chapter five verse twenty one, Galatians chapter three verse thirteen. We see it very clearly. Let us see the sixth one. Jesus Christ resurrected on the third day. He died on the cross and also he resurrected. Means he rose from the dead. So Jesus Christ is not a just a man who died and he did not raise again. Jesus Christ is God. the god who even had the victory over the death so that we clearly see in gospel of john chapter 11 verse 25 to 26 gospel of mark chapter 16 verse 6 gospel of luke chapter 24 verse 67 we see very clearly that jesus christ is the living god let us see the seventh one jesus christ ascended to heaven he died on the cross he rose again on the third day and after raising he ascended to heaven jesus christ ascended to heaven in front of many people in front of his disciple and in front of his many people he ascended to heaven this we see very clearly in acts 1:6 to 11 luke 24 51 john 20 17 let us see the eighth one jesus christ will come to take his children and will judge the world When Jesus Christ died on the cross rose on the third day he ascended to heaven when he ascended to heaven he will come again to take his children the people who believed him as lord and the people who believed him that god raised him on the third day the people who had the salvation the people whom Jesus Christ saved them the people whom Jesus Christ gave the salvation to those people those people will be taken by the lord jesus christ when he will come again that we see very clearly in the bible first thessalonians chapter 4 was 16 to 17 second corinthians chapter 5 was 10 gospel of john chapter 5 was 22 revelation chapter 19 was 11 we have the very clear and the most absolute truth about the lord jesus christ in the bible by these eight points i believe and i hope that you have understood that who jesus christ really is you know we must not have any doubt we must not have any kind of a room where we can get compromised with the world the world means the people who say that jesus christ is just a man who that jesus christ he was also just a man like other no jesus christ was not just a man like other jesus christ was having the very divine nature in him so he was completely human and with the same he was completely god he was completely sinless so by these eight points i believe and i hope that uh, you have understood in a very simple terms who jesus christ really is so there is no other book other than the bible which explains that who jesus christ really is with the most absolute truth if you want the absolute truth about the lord jesus christ more most accurate answer most accurate fact clear truth you must read the bible there is no other book i believe uh, you have come to know and uh, at last day, i would like to pray a small prayer for you lord heavenly father thank you for giving us this time and uh, i believe the people who have watched this those who have heard this they have uh, come to know who jesus christ really is in these simple terms they understood and let them not be shaken in their faith and let them not be challenged and lost at challenged by people who are there who claim that jesus christ is not god people who are there who claim that jesus christ is not god so those who have heard let them strong stand let them have 
these verses of the bible so that they can even defend their faith and stand firm in the faith and glorify you lord thank you for giving us this time and uh, bless us richly with your knowledge of the word of yours and uh, lead us for your glory and honor thank you lord jesus all glory honor be to you lord in the name of my lord and my savior my lord jesus christ i pray amen thank you once again may god bless you with his word daily and make you grow more and more in his word and in the knowledge of his word amen